Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy to be wildin' and I'm back again with another reaction. But we got Joe Rogan. Only 10% of the ocean has been explored, bro. Now, <clears throat> we all have heard that. And, you know, at this point, it's just like some obvious thing. But that is definitely crazy just to think about. Only 10%. Ocean big as hell, bro. Deep. Like, you don't even know. We don't know what's out there for real, bro. I remember seeing like a video on TikTok where like a... Dude, I think he had threw like a ball or something. It just like disappeared in the night, bro. You know how scary that is? Like if he, if he was to fall off of that mother, you would never see him again, most likely, bro. You would never see him again. It would be done deal, bro. But we finna get into this. Who's about? Make sure I run the likes up. Some new time post notifications, man. Y'all see the IG above. If you want to reach out, links to all my social medias are in the description. Excuse me. And without further ado. What people will do for attention is just nuts. But that's what it, that's alien, dude, it's alien weaponry. You might be onto something. They're coming from under the sea. Uh, here's the And thought. they're giving us weapons. I'm all about USOs now, dude. Yeah. I'm all under about. Under sea UFOs? Uh, it's uh, un, unidentified submersible objects. Mm, yeah. That's where they are, dude. Yeah. They're at the floor that's of the. That's what Cat Williams said. Yeah. We were talking about sonar, hearing devices. That just devices. touched my heart where I'm like, yeah. do we both have the same crazy theory? <laughs> said, is this correct or incorrect? Dude, I love that. <laughs> he was, we were talking about uh, space, about how we know more about space than we do about the ocean, yeah, which is true. And he was saying that those underwater listening devices were most likely so that they could uh, hear UFOs moving around. Dude. Because if they're really, imagine if they're really on bases here's, under the ocean and they know about them. Well, here's the thing that if they know about them, fuck you, you should tell us. But here's what I think. Tell us. The theory I had, because I heard about, I, I listened to an episode of last podcast on the left where they were talking about USOs. And I got super into it because I was high enough. <laughs> you know, when the song hits correctly, sometimes yes. the podcast will do that. Right. And, and I was listening to last podcast on the left and it hit where I go like, it unlocked because they had this theory that, that they talked about that the millions of years it took us to crawl out of the water and evolve into fucking liz you know whatever we are like monkeys and then ne neanderthals and then humans all that millions of years there were things under the ocean evolving for millions of years with technology and stuff and we're just up on the roof but yeah, the problem is we've never seen anything other than us that manipulates its environment. The intelligent things that we found in the ocean that are real are dolphins and orcas. Yeah. And whales. But like and what about... Uh, dolphins and orcas are crazy intelligent. But like octopuses too, yes, right? that's true too. Yeah. But, but none of them... The octopuses are very smart. But none of them have ever figured out how to make things. Like make houses and cars and yeah, ships. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's yeah. all like they're out in the wild. There's no houses. I used to do a bit about uh, how dangerous the ocean is because there's no doors. I'm like, there's no doors. No, no. matter what, it's just just crazy though. That is crazy. It's like free roam, bro, for sure. Sharks and crabs and no doors. Yeah. And everywhere you look, everything is eating everything. Right. It's yeah. literal murder soup because <laughs> they all eat each other. It's a ladder of eating. Yeah. Just everything goes up and, and eats something. And at the top, you have killer whales that are eating whales. They eat everything. But what if we're missing something? What if we don't see it? What if we are too stupid? What if we're just like rock monkeys yeah. and they're just like, they can't see down here. These guys have no fucking clue. You know when you're in a tinted car and someone's like, yeah, they're trying like to look looking in, in the window you see, and you're you looking at them. Yeah, you can see them, but they can't see you. And I'm like, look at this fucking idiot. He doesn't even see me. Maybe right. what if that's us with the aliens in the water what if we're like looking down there in the water and they're like these fucking idiots even when they come down here they can't see shit that's possible it's possible that they also can be completely invisible like, yeah we're really close to being able to do that now with stuff they figured out how to like project what's behind things on screens so you can you can like have theoretically have a vehicle that as it's moving through an environment it's projecting what's there. Bro, that's what? a predator shit. Yeah, like literally that's that's a concept <laughs> that they're working on. They're working on it for air aircrafts, they're working on it for for vehicles. It's that's terrifying. So, yeah. <laughs> it's so terrifying. And that's just step 1. Step two would be do something that alters reality around the thing so it's invisible. Yeah. It, 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 look, 
So that's what. I, so you go into the ocean, and we're yeah. like down there, and we're so limited because yeah. we can't breathe down there. So we're limited. We're in like submarines, or we have robots, and it's yeah. just like a. It's just like a fucking ring. Every footage under the sea looks like a ring doorbell, where it's just like, and we don't know what the fuck. Right. They, we, they could be behind it, like these yeah. idiots. There's so little of it that we've explored. There's only like ten percent of the ocean floor that we've explored. Ten percent. That's so crazy. Ten percent, and then the thing that they always see you UFOs or USOs over water, it's like the high frequency that they see them, mm-hmm. and then they just fucking th- just down in there, and they're yeah. like, "Follow me, bitch!" And we're like, "We can't, we can't breathe." You know, space or the ocean, we can't breathe down there. We have a limited amount of room we can move around in. Just the idea of something being here the whole time is so creepy. Yeah, yeah, crazy and then but us being. It was crazy to think only 10% of the ocean have been discovered. That other 90% could be whatever. Like, we just got to use our damn imagination. We could think this, think that, but truly we don't know. What's comforting is we're all so stupid we don't see it. Right. Imagine if you had a friend that's like, hey, (laughs) if a couple people could see it. Imagine, you would be terrified. Imagine if society had gotten to a point at one point in time where artificial intelligence and human brains mixed and we created a super class of, of species, like a new thing that's both technological and biological. Yeah. And only a small number of beings got that. I mean, you. And those beings for some reason left and left us here the way we are yeah like I, that's what we're seeing with these aliens those are humans that went that went down the road that we're going down right now and they were like dude we're gonna get out of here yeah and then maybe there was like all the disasters that happened like the 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 younger driest impact the asteroids hit yeah. and all that stuff and level society but they escape because they're interdimensional travelers. Yeah, they're now. like, we're going to get the fuck out of here. It's yeah. like leaving a house. You're just yeah. like, I don't care about this Shoot. house anymore. Now yeah. we're somewhere else. Shoot. They don't need food anymore. They probably work on nuclear energy or something. There's probably some they're, crazy power or source. Or like antimatter. Yeah. It's they, like a thing that we would never even think of. Yeah. They did, don't need to breed. The thing that I, I re, uh, the Jimmy Carter brief, did you, you know about this? When he, yes. where, where they briefed him and it like broke him emotionally. Yeah. Where he was like so upset, where they were like, "Hey, by the way, yeah. they've been here forever." <laughs> like there, he was like bro. a deeply religious man. Well, Tucker Carlson's talked about this recently. Really? Yeah, Tucker Carlson said that he believes that they've always been here, and he believes that it's probably, he, you know, he was talking about like good and evil, and yeah. that we all we know that good exists, and we know that evil exists. Sure, we know that people are capable of doing evil. Like th- these are real forces in the world. Yeah, and. They're, so pe- what people are saying is that these experiences that some people are having with like benevolent ones mm-hmm. that you're this is the stories of demons this is the stories of the Bible mm-hmm. that there's like there's there's races that are evil there's alien races that don't give a fuck just like there's oh, yeah. praying mantises yeah that eat hummingbirds or, like, like in nature just just because they're there's, super there smart are, like, there are creatures that are aggressive that right. are smart like a hyena and then there's like Animals that are aggressive and just powerful, like lions. Like and think about us, the smartest animal on the planet that we know of. And what do we do to chickens? Fuck them. No, oh, those chickens. <laughs> I go. No, you don't. Fuck. Oh, God damn. <laughs> this is where, this is where my whole world unravels. I go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're tripping, bro. You're tripping. <laughs> Joe, I fuck chickens, dude. I don't know. I didn't think you were gonna get me like that. But yeah, it, it, there could be the the idea of benevolent aliens of like. The idea that there are aliens that are yeah. good and aliens that are bad yeah. scares me so much more because yeah. you're just like, P- please leave me alone. <laughs> and like good ones, bail me out of it. I mean, but imagine like if something became super intelligent, but in a more balanced environment, like instead of the way humans are so much more intelligent than everything else. Yeah. What if there was other shit around that was pretty close to us? I mean, there's a lot of shit that we don't know about, and a lot of shit might be known about. They're just hiding it and not saying anything because they don't want to panic everyone and freak everybody out. But it is pretty crazy how, like, 
only 10% of the ocean has been discovered, bro. Like, we, we don't know about the other 90%. And it's just, it could be so many different species of anything down there that we don't know about. We've never seen before because they, they stay in that low area, like, at the very bottom. That's wild to just even think about, bro. Like, it's, it's definitely trippy. It's, it's a scary thing once you, like, just sit back and think about it. Like, damn. What can be down there, bro? Like, what... What are we missing out on or what? Because it's like, who knows, bro? It could be some type of fish down there or some type of whatever. That could be good, bro, but nobody will ever get to taste it, bro. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, like, you know, like the first person to discover a lobster or a, a shrimp that you could eat it and fish, you know, stuff like that. It's like, damn, this shit good, bro. We're going to throw some little, we're going to make our own little seasonings for it. We're going to throw this on there. We're going to eat it. Bro. And it could be some other fish out there that be hitting, bro. Like, that shit could be busting bro and it could be some shit that be that could cause thousands of dollars just to eat just because how far it is down in the ocean bro and how far they'll have to go to get it so it'd be it's some rare shit you're gonna have to pay thousands of dollars to eat it bro and but then they're gonna tamper with it make some gmo type shit bro so then now everybody gonna be paying these high prices that whole time all they're doing is just making the shit in the uh factory or whatever to replicate replicate it or whatever bro and yeah that would fail that would fail tremendously bro but i'm just saying you don't know bro. we don't know but anyway this is the end of that y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below make sure i'm gonna like sub sub new time post notifications man you can follow me on ig and twitter links in the description hit me bro over there we're going crazy road at 200k let's keep running it up it's your boy to be wallin and i'm out bro